and you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe smash the like button and thank you so much for watching how, how do we have fun outdoor We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, folks. You're going to love this one. Carnival Pride full walkthrough and tour. This channel is famous for our cruise ship uh, walkthrough and tour videos. In fact, so much so, everyone asked us to start a second channel, which we've done called How to Have Fun Cruising. So definitely check that out. But today, this is our classic walkthrough video for the Carnival Pride. If you're thinking about booking a trip with these guys with Carnival or the Carnival Pride cruise ship, you're definitely going to watch want to watch this video. And in fact, if you watch this video, you're going to be very familiar with the ship, ready to go and enjoy your cruise to the maximum. You won't spend a couple of days trying to figure out which floor the restaurant's on or where you need to go to work out, etc. We're going to cover it all for you. And in fact, we do something different than everyone else on YouTube. We start at the top of the ship. We go from front to back each floor all the way down so it's easy to follow and we spent a lot of time putting this video together in fact this one took us three weeks of editing and uh, if you could give us a like it would mean so much to us as we put so much hard work into these videos let's talk about the carnival pride it's a spirit class cruise ship operated by carnival cruise line it was actually built over in helsinki finland it was actually launched at port canaveral florida in january 7th of 2002 it's been in uh, business for uh, 20 years as you know it cost 375 million dollars and believe it or not this is one cool cruise ship I love the layout we really enjoyed this cruise out of Rome we did the Mediterranean it goes back and forth to the Caribbean and other locations she has a tonnage gross tonnage of 88,000 tons it's 963 feet long or 900 or 294 meters long it's a big ship it's got 12 decks uh, it can go up to uh, 25 miles per hour or 22 knots holds 2,124 passengers with a crew of 900 130. There's actually 1,062 passenger cabins, and this is a great ship. We love the layout. We love the design. We really enjoyed it. If you're not familiar with the smaller ships versus the bigger ships, check out this video. It says, does size matter? And we compare like the Carnival Freedom to the Mardi Gras and some of the new supersized ships, and you'll get uh, to see the difference. But the one thing nice about this ship that we really enjoyed, with this particular size, you get to meet a lot lot of people you build some relationships uh, this ship as you can see we're gonna go through the whole thing once you're on it for a day or two you can really get a handle on it and you can get back and forth around the ship without a problem and we love these outdoor decks especially on deck three go ahead and get started and we're gonna do a tour as you can see we're walking on the ship right now and uh, we're gonna get started with the leche as we made it to our room as we got through all of the onboarding it's so easy you come up you already did your master station no more to think about it and the keys are waiting for you at the door all right we're let's done. do it that's the process all right here we are on the carnival pride right outside of Rome and we're gonna start at the top of the ship and we're going to take you all the way down from front to back, back to front, and you're going to get a full, complete walkthrough and tour of the Carnival Pride. You're going to love this video, so definitely subscribe, hit the like button, and thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors and How to Have Fun Cruising. Okay, we're going to start right from the top of the ship. That's right, the sports deck, uh, deck 11. And as you can see here, we've got putt-putt. We've got a jogging uh, trail that goes right around the top of the ship it's a lot of fun and you can get your walking or jogging in they've got great basketball courts uh, a little bit of soccer you name it you got to see that at the beginning of the video and take a look at this shot yeah! <laughs> so we try to take some fancy shots with every cruise uh, that we do and as you can see here pretty awesome yeah! All right, like there you go. So they've got little soccer action there to practice with the kids. A little bit of putt putt action, as you can see right here. Typical of a lot of these cruise ships today, but no question about it, uh, it's got its sports deck, and uh, we had a lot of fun up there. 
So we'll go ahead and as you can also see, you get some great look out. Uh, but as we come down to the back side here, we're going to walk on down to the next deck and uh, you're going to see that that opens up really nice to the main central part of the ship where you can actually see the pool. We have a lot of get togethers in this area, a lot of music and fun. Uh, obviously the Lido deck parties and everything is held down below. So as you can see here, Aliche is going to walk us right on down to the 10th floor and we're going to walk right back to the back of this and as you can see uh, you can also come off to the front of the ship and uh, get some nice views up here and then you're able to walk in right here from the very front on deck 10. So from this deck you've got the Club 02 for the older kids up at the front and in the back David's Steakhouse uh, so we're going to show you both of those right now. Club 02 is the place for teenagers. If you have a teenager, maybe it's where they will they love to hang out. So as you come out of that kids club, you come back outdoors on this Lido upper deck and you look down to deck number nine in the main pool area. And uh, this is kind of the central part of the ship where all the action is. There's a lot of nightlife. Uh, you get to watch the outdoor movies from here. They have a lot of music and fun. So take a listen to this and uh, enjoy. see we had a great time out there on the Lido deck now we're gonna walk back uh, on this deck number 10 and as you come inside as we mentioned before you can actually um, head on up into this area right here as you can see up to David's Steakhouse and uh, we really enjoyed the steakhouse uh, it had some great chow and uh, we're going to show you that but this was absolutely beautiful we were surprised on this design with this ship they did uh, a great job with this atrium and uh, it was pretty cool especially for us being in the mediterranean had that whole roman empire feel to it but the steakhouse was excellent the food was great as you would typically find this is definitely an extra charge so you pay extra and have to make your reservations ahead of time but you get the full-blown steak dinner, uh, top quality meat, and uh, great service. And overall, we were really impressed with this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you that dinner now. Wow, David's Steakhouse, huh? Well, I really love the view. What? Hey. If you've got that special occasion, special date, honeymoon, or you just want to celebrate, uh, we highly recommend paying the extra money for one night to go up to the steakhouse and get some great food and great service. And it's very elegant. Uh, you give the opportunity to dress up and go out and have some fun. But as you can see here, the food was exceptional. Some really high-end dishes. And best of all, the steak was fantastic. Take a look at that big ribeye bone in. And Aliche, she loves her lamb. So take a look at that lamb. She really enjoyed that. But overall, we had a great time and highly recommend it. For everyone, just to be clear, we started from deck 11. We went down to the 10. Back, all, all the way back, there is a deck 10 where uh, you have uh, the stairs to go back at the top of the deck 11 where you have uh, the water slide, the green thunder, and the carnival water works. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's yes. go back up to deck 11. You can only get back to there as you go back to the back of the ship to see the water slides. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Well, this is one of the tricky parts. You go back up to the deck 11, which is the back of the ship now. Um, and once you get back here, as you can see, you've got a bunch of extra area where you can lay out in that sun and really enjoy it. 
And uh, quite honestly, a lot of people don't want to take advantage of this. So if you want to get away from the music and the craziness down in the Lido deck around the pool, this is a great hangout and place to go. And then as you come back down again and go towards the back of the ship, you're going to see that you end up where all the water slides are. And that is where if you've got kids, you're definitely going to want to check it out because they have done a great job with all of the water slides with this particular cruise ship. They have really done uh, exceptional for this size ship. Um, this is called the Splash Zone, and as you can see, all kinds of slides for the kids, everybody from little bitty kids all the way up to adults and people that want to get onto the bigger slides. Uh, no question about it. Some of those were very thrilling, a lot of fun. So no worries on this ship. If you're into the slides and the water and sports deck, uh, all of that is available on this cruise ship without exception, and you're going to have a great time. On the bigger slides you do have to be 42 inches tall and no more than uh, you have to be under 300 pounds uh, but these are some fun slides uh, for sure and the green tunnel was pretty awesome also that's a quite a drop on that and uh, that you feel like you're at a water park for sure take a look at this the splash zone the Cardinal Pride offer. Let's go back to the 10th floor and then we are going to restart our tour from the back of the ship on the 9th floor. All right, let's go check it out. I think that's where Serenity is and you can see it from here. Let's go. We love the Serenity area on these Carnival Cruise Line ships, uh, adults only, and uh, they really have done a nice job with the layout, the uh, overall cushions and design, the jacuzzis, you don't have a bunch of kids running around. It's really, really nice, and this cruise was extra special. Alice is Italian. She came over to the United States about 10 years ago, and to be able to cruise out of Rome and get to go to Greece and Turkey and Italy was a lot of fun for her and to get to see all the ruins. You'll definitely have to check out all the other great videos from that Mediterranean cruise ship. Today is just the walkthrough on the cruise ship itself. But as you can see, if you're older, you don't have the kids uh, to deal with, or you put them into the day camp, this is a great place to hang out at the back of the ship and really enjoy, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the more relaxing environment, if you will, of the cruise ship. can see they've got a nice bar area back here also and uh, if you get the drink package uh, that's the way to go um, but uh, obviously uh, it's really nice and then you come into the main dining area that we're all familiar with the buffet style chow um, on right outside the Lido deck and as you can see here lots of seating really cool layout no question about it and all of your typical food so if you're in the salad bar they've got a big salad bar area and all the fixings um, so if you've been eating too much of that fried food or you want to try to lose a little bit of weight uh, or you're one of those healthy types no worries they've got a great salad bar area with all the fixings uh, but that's not it there's so much up in this buffet area to choose from and we're going to show that to you right now so in addition take a look at this folks you come over here they've got the coffee bar um, and uh, all new machines on this cruise ship which was nice and uh, from there you've got all of your pizza uh, pirate pizza which we're all familiar with with carnival cruise line and obviously 
Uh, you can get that late at night also, uh, which is a big plus, and that's all hand-tossed. The sweet spot, I don't know what it was with this ship, uh, but we'll be showing you plenty of photos during this video. They had amazing desserts, tons of cakes, and uh, great, great desserts on this cruise ship. I'm not sure what was going on there, but uh, every day, just fabulous desserts. We really, really enjoyed it. And then obviously you have all your juices, your coffee, your hot tea, uh, all of that is available with the cruise and that comes with your standard package, no add-ons there needed. Uh, you've got the Carvery, this is all again comes with your cruise, uh, but you had some really nice you know, turkey and some prime rib and some other dishes there. And then all of your good eats is just your traditional uh, buffet chow that's really really good and then you also have your little deli area where you've got your hot pastrami's and all your sandwiches french fries and they do a great job here you can get your hot sandwiches your cold sandwiches but as you can see with the hot you got your buffalo chicken meatball grilled ham and cheese grilled cheese rubens cubans you name it they got it and it's all made to order so it's really really good and uh, you know this is one of the real positive things that they've added to the carnival cruise lines chopsticks you get all your asian food uh, no question about it they had something different every day lots of good chow here we really enjoyed it uh, carnival did a great job with this how about the seafood area this is an upcharge we'll show you the pricing in a minute here but sometimes you just want those crab legs and shrimp and all of the fresh seafood that they offer. Uh, really, really good seafood bar there. And then obviously in the morning you have your breakfast um, and they've got the croissants, all your different breakfasts, your omelets your way. So you can pretty much dictate what you want and they'll cook that up for you. All your sausage, bacon, all of that comes with the, with the cruise package. No extra charges there and uh, the food was fantastic we really enjoyed it as you can see here we were going to town wow look at that ready for breakfast and, and leche just loves her breakfast uh and uh no question about it you get to know the waiters and waitresses and uh, we had a lot of fun and again as you can see here uh lots of great chow we have mexican section also so you can pick from all the different foods there but overall, no question about it, Carnival did a great job on this particular cruise. I thought the food was a little bit better than what you typically get from Carnival. I don't know if that was because we were in Europe and uh, they worked a little harder on getting us uh, some good chow since the Europeans uh, typically eat well. Uh, but overall, we were very happy with the food on the Carnival Pride. We thought they did a great job. Just absolutely awesome, huh, Lichie? Yeah, it looks so good. You ready to go eat? Yes, I am. Also had a lot of beverage uh, areas on this cruise ship, which we were happy with. Again, this is where you sign up for your David Steakhouse. Definitely make your reservations early. But as you come out of this area, you've got Guy's Burgers. That's right. And if you're not familiar with these, you will be on your cruise because they do a phenomenal job with these burgers. Still, to this day, we would rank Carnival number one of all the cruises with Guy's Burgers. The Guy's Burgers are fantastic. Fresh cut fries and uh, these burgers are outstanding. Everybody knows it. It's one of uh, Carnival's uh, hooks, if you will, because... A lot of people, uh, you know, they bypass the buffet just to get the guys' burgers. And uh, you could eat these things every day if you wanted to. They're fantastic. We really enjoyed it. For some of that Mexican food, the blue iguana is a staple, as everybody knows, with Carnival Cruise Line also. They do a great job with tacos and burritos, and the blue iguana cantina is a must if you're starving for some of that Mexican-style food. They've got the nice salsa bar, great layout, lots of good chow here, fresh served, 
And uh, it's nice, especially when you're hanging out at the pool, go grab a couple of tacos and uh, sit at the pool and enjoy yourself with the music and everything else that's going on. So up next is probably the most important part of any Carnival cruise ship. That's right, folks. You got to get your ice cream. And they've got the vanilla, strawberry, soft serve. And you just got to love Carnival Cruise Line because they leave these things open from morning to night. And you're always able to get ice cream, unlike other cruise lines. That's one of the things we love the most about Carnival carnival you can get all the ice cream you want as much as you want and uh, your kids can live off that stuff during the trip so all right so you also have the blue iguana bar area by the pool so you got all your drinks and uh, festivities going on over here like i said during the day a lot of different activities and a lot of fun uh, for sure by the pool got to meet a lot of great people had a lot of fun and uh, as you can see here we had people from all over the country who love carnival that get on these cruise ships and have a good time and the carnival pride did not disappoint we had a great time and we'll continue to show you around the rest of the ship now as we head towards the uh, back of the ship Head back uh, towards the back of the ship at this deck. You can see you've got the ping pong tables, more bathrooms, and uh, this is the part that Aliche really loves is that you come inside here and you walk down the edge and you're gonna see as you come around the front, you got some really cool lookout. And one of the places a lot of people don't realize until later on in the ship, so if you can get there early on your cruise, uh, you can get some great pictures and this is a really nice feature to the design of this boat so you can come out here um, and look how far outside of the side of the ship you get with the views when you're on the ocean are just spectacular and uh, we really enjoyed this lookout uh, some really nice deck areas with this particular design you'll see also the same down on the third floor this Carnival Pride has a really great design and fantastic layout. I'm impressed. So no question, some really cool lookout areas, nice open deck areas. Uh, but as we move back to the uh, uh, other part of this floor, you're going to get to see one of Aliche's favorites, uh, and that is the spa area, the whole uh, body relaxation area. You're going to take a look at where you can get your massages, your haircut, you got your gym, all kinds of good stuff. And we're going to walk you through the spa right here. And as you know, um, all these cruise ships do a great job with this. We really try to take advantage of always getting a massage. Uh, as you can see here, really nice massage rooms. And of course, there's Aliche taking advantage of a massage right out of the gate. And uh, here's the locker rooms. We'll walk in and take a look. All your nice towels, nice cabinets. I don't know when they updated this, but it looked all refreshed and new. And uh, they did a great job with this also. And as you come down, you can see here, you've got all your showers, your bathrooms, really nice design. Nice and clean, good uh, fit and finish with everything here. Uh, felt like it was modernized and updated. You've got your showers. And uh, as you come around, here's your steam room. This is all separated by uh, male or female. Then your sauna over here also. And then as this opens up, you get up into your uh, gym area where you have all your weights and equipment. And we're gonna walk you through that right now. So as you walk into the gymnasium, this is co-ed, uh, both the female and the male uh, locker areas open up into this area. And then you can see just a ton of equipment. And I tell you, when you compare these older ships with more modern ships, there's way more windows, way more space dedicated to the workout areas on the older ships. And it's, it's a lot more open, to be honest. And we were really surprised how nice this was. I mean, there was three floors of gym equipment uh, and you had the treadmills, you had uh, the, the free weights, you had all kinds of equipment. And uh, obviously you had the little spa area in here uh, with the extra jacuzzi uh, as part of it. But take a look at those bikes. 
uh, as you can see here but just look at all the windows look at the opening look at the design on some of these new cruise ships they got you with not many windows over into a corner and for the size of the ship you don't get nowhere near this type of square footage so we were impressed with this so if you like to work out or even if you're not a big workout person this is a fun place to kind of hang out and do some exercising and take a look at those bikes pretty cool Aliche got into it so I had to do my best and uh, well let's just say I'm not a weight guy so I, I tried my best Aliche showing off again right here she's so good at this stuff she loves going to the gym for me I probably had one too many guys burgers and as you can see I'm struggling a little bit with that but overall we had a great time and they have all the light fitness uh, equipment there so no question about it it's good gear good stuff plenty of towels ice water everything you need and whoa we've got to be careful there Tom and here's the ladies uh, changing room also where you can go and get some skin care extra things there pretty nice overall and uh, we'll walk you up through the look it's called and this is your classic uh, you know you can get your pedicure manicures get your hair done all kinds of cool stuff on this ship and uh, so treat yourself definitely book ahead these things do fill up quite fast the massages because they only have so many massage rooms and uh, help with that they do fill up quick so definitely book that ahead of time pick your colors get ready and you can even do a recharging station have all kinds of fun they got all kinds of treatments and different things you can do for sure to really enjoy that so as you come out of here on the spot we're going to come down another level and we're ready for the next floor folks are you so let's go ahead and get started that's right on level number eight the staterooms it's all staterooms so not much to see there so you head on down to level seven all staterooms again not much to see there so you come down to level six not much to see there it's all state rooms again so you'll probably be staying in one of these rooms but we're going to head on down to floor number five and we got a treat for you today because we got the rear suite at the back of the ship and Alicia is going to show it to you now well so far this ship has been amazing i hope you guys are enjoying this fantastic walkthrough of this carnival pride now we are here at our suite on the fifth floor 5266 in the front of the ship Come on and check it out. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go. All right, big hallway, all lit up. Yes. And let's start right here with the bathroom, huh? What do we got? Absolutely. So the first thing that I love about this, this uh, suite is the great hallway. And right in front of you is very spacious, but it's a nice door for the bathroom. Yeah, tons of room here. The bathroom is a really nice light up with a big, big mirror, two sinks, so me and Tommy T, we are not going to fight this time. And the, the toilet is here. You can imagine how much space you have in front of you. Tons of space. This is a yeah. huge bathroom on this balcony suite. Huge Absolutely. bathroom. And we have great cabinets. Great holders for all your makeup and anything you need to, to have with you. I love the lightning because it's very bright. And of course, the, ba the shower has a lot of space because it's also a bathtub. All right, you got to do the shower test for everyone. But this one, I it's think is... To pass. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Lots of room and a full bathtub. So you can come in here and relax in your tub. That is awesome. Absolutely. Very nice. Lots of space in here, as you can see. I'm very well organized. Wow. Super, super cool. Got your trash down below, and then obviously all of the normal stuff with your mirror and everything else. So, yeah. very cool. Let's check out the rest of this, Absolutely. you know, front balcony suites. This is so cool. Tell everybody uh, about where we're going on this cruise. Well, we have to go the Mediterranean, in particular in Greece, Italy, and Turkey. So it's going to be a lot of history, a lot of great places, and I'm super excited. All right, let's check out the rest of this right here. Look yeah. at the size of this closet. It's yeah. a monstrous. Absolutely. The closet is really spacious, really nice to open, and with nice lightning. Lights, yep. Yep. 
Here you have uh, all the different uh, shelves for all your clothes. And on the other side over here, instead, you have a lot of space for holders and um, all well, your you hangers and yeah. also the robes really cool absolutely all nice right clean and this is kind of special for you alice i mean you grew up in italy north of milan by lake como and we're departing out of the rome port here so uh it's just like being at home almost uh, almost like being home and here you can see the room wow. is extremely huge spacious. room yeah so, we kind of fight for space here. The desk is fantastic. Wow. I love that in this room they use a lot of mirrors. I'm a fan of mirrors. Here you have this nice big one in front of your desk with a great space and a lot of different drawers with obviously the air dryer and all the rest of the drawers here. Great seat. And you're also close to the window, so you don't have only the light of the desk, but also the light from the windows. Okay, let's do the famous Aliche bed test. Oh, yes! Yeah. Whoa, okay, how's okay. it feel? It feels like I, I'm taking a nap now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's check out the rest of the very, room. Very good. Mirrors well, all the way across the back of the bed, too. Exactly. Like you said, it just makes the room that much more spacious, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, and bright. Yeah. Before we move in the back of the room, obviously here there is a great space for the refrigerator. The refrigerator nice. looks nice. Perfect. All right. And All they gave us a lot holder. of water, so it's very nice. Yeah. Ice holder, nice drawers for each side of the bed. And in addition, what I like is that you are added two USB key right on the lamp, so you can connect anything you want and you have a lot of space to where to hold your glass or phone or a book if you're reading yeah then uh, over here very cool we have a, a very nice the same setup obviously for the other side a nice uh, sofa with the tv that is uh, in a corner so you can watch from the sofa or from the bed nice desk in case you want to do your homework here and in front of that uh, I love this. A full dresser. dresser. A Look nice at that. Dresser. How many uh, suites have we seen with a full dresser like that? I know, that? there is so much space in this yeah. room. And the second, but not less important, a nice safe. safe. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. And look at all the drawers to put away your stuff nicely. Yeah. TV in the corner, more windows. Yep. So, first impression on my side, I love it. This room is yeah. so much bigger. Open that up. They show everybody all these open up. Okay. So now you've Maybe got nice windows, one. windows, light, more windows. And what I will love in the morning is to wake up and have my, my Mediterranean Sea right in front of me. And get that and free complimentary uh, continental breakfast room service on yeah. Carnival they offer. So, yeah. and then, all right. And, and you guys on. ready? This is why we wanted this room. I Especially know. with going to the Mediterranean, we wanted to have a big big balcony uh, is, I never wait. had something like this not only is a big uh, uh, deck but it's so long that you have space for sun you're gonna have the sun almost all day long yeah this balcony is monster i thought we had the monster one on the norwegian pearl no. i think we outdid it on this one folks absolutely i love that it's shorter so you can see the ocean in front of you from the be bedroom but in addition, it's so special that you can actually lay down. And look, it comes open. all the way around to this side. This thing is colossal. So you can get a nice side view of the ship, which is amazing. And as you can see, you can come all the way around and you've got this whole front. Wow, what an amazing balcony Carnival has delivered on this design. Absolutely. Pretty it awesome. Fantastic. Wow. All right, are you ready to go check out the rest of the ship? And by the way, take a look at this. Nice table for two, or you can just lay out here with the recliner. So, so many times you're fighting over one little chair and one little recliner. Here we've got all four chairs. Yep. Really, really nice. All right, are you ready to go check out the rest of this ship, Malice? Absolutely. Let's go. Let's, I'm excited. Let's do it. The cool part 
darkness that on, uh, on the fifth floor, but it's also the laundry room. Yeah, you've got the laundry room in the back of the ship on the fifth floor, and then in the front of the ship on the floors above us and below us. But take a look. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Whoa. And there it is. The laundry room. place for you camp ocean you can just leave them down for a day and then go upstairs and have fun and they will become a nice the penguin the shark and stingray that's right the kids love it the first day is always a little iffy but after that they make their friends and you can relax out on that pool deck enjoy yourself while carnival does the rest with all of these kids zones they do a great job Carnival is well known for their kids programs. Uh, they've got great equipment, uh, all of the computers, the games, uh, lots of activities with the different camps. Um, they've done an amazing job. You've got the stingrays from 6 to 8, the sharks from 9 to 11. Uh, so they really break out the age groups uh, by, you know, exactly their interest and activity levels. Uh, and they do a great job. We want to thank Carnival. We had to get permission to go inside these with our How to Have Fun Outdoor YouTube channel. They allowed us to go ahead and film this. So anyone with kids could kind of see all the different, uh, you know, toys and activities and things they have. Typically, you're not allowed in these rooms unless you have... A child and even with that you drop the child off it's very secure they do a great job of managing this uh, but we were able to go in there when there was no kids and kind of show you all the different things they have so carnival again well known for these kids clubs and if you got a little one even two to five penguins they can be a penguin and have a great time so now let's get down to uh, what we talked about is going down to the next floor and that's level four. It's all staterooms again, all the way up until the front. That's right, the Taj Mahal, the main show lounge. And uh, we're gonna show you that. We can get to this theater from a couple of different floors, but is gonna go over a tip with you now. As a little tricky note, in order to arrive to Circle C and the Cove, we need to go back to uh, floor five, uh, go in the back and then uh, come down. Okay. Otherwise, there is no entrance because of the main uh, show lounge. All right, very good tip. Let's All go right, check let's it go. out. Before we take you to that theater, we're gonna take you down to the uh, Circle C. This is the 12 to 14 uh, age group. And these guys are all about gaming uh, at that age. And you can see that these guys have spent some money with all of the uh, uh, game, video game setups that they have here with all the monitors and activities. They did a really nice job uh, with this. And, uh, you know, that's a tough age because those guys are teenagers. They need some high stimulation activities. They definitely had it in here. Plenty of computers and things for these guys to uh, play their games and hang out. And uh, kids always have a great time uh, with this particular uh, place. Okay, so let's keep going on with the tour here. And now we're going to go into, that's right, right next to the theater. And uh, as you come out of this section, this is a really cool little garden area, uh, which is kind of hidden if you don't know where it's at. Um, but you come out of this area right here and you've got the big theater on the left that you can go in and over to the other side you're gonna see that you actually have also the video game area that's right it's called the warehouse and if you've got kids they're gonna want to definitely hang out in here this is a video arcade and take a look at the size of this video arcade once again because it's an older ship and the old video arcades uh, were much bigger deal back then a lot more square footage again and tons of different games and activities back here air hockey basketball you name it they've got it uh, but uh, lots of kids hang were hanging out here during the cruise pac-man look at that these all kinds of cool games some that i've never even seen before and i thought i'd been in a lot of arcades but in any case, really, really great arcade. Your kids will love it.
Okay, so the mighty deck three. So much going on with deck three as we start from the front. Once again, you've got the big theater, the video uh, arcade area, but we're going to go in the piano bar all the way down this level three. Here's a top view so you can see the Taj Mahal, the main show area. There we are next to the arcade, and then you come through all the fun shops. You come into the main atrium. One of our favorite places where to go on this chevrolet is the third floor out the back. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this is even out here. So it's super cool, but you've got the deck that wraps around the back of the ship. Hey, Alice. Yeah, we are on the deck three, and uh, we are enjoying the outside and all the view. We are heading south towards Messina, and uh, on our right, you can see the Stromboli, uh, where you can see also the smoke coming out of the volcano. Yeah, cool. take a look at this, folks. Pretty awesome. Wow. around the back of the ship too. Beautiful views off the back of the ship from floor three out here on this deck. And as you can also see, it's a great place to go away from the crowd and take a look over there. That's right folks, Stromboli, famous volcano down here in the Med. We're having a great time. So let's uh, continue on with our video on Carnival Pride. If you're not familiar with our channel, you definitely want to subscribe. We've got all kinds of Carnival Cruise Line videos for you. That's right, we've got the Mardi Gras, the Mardi Gras tips, the Freedom, and all kinds of great shore excursion videos that you will absolutely love. So definitely subscribe to How to Have Fun Outdoors and also check out our sister channel, How to Have Fun Cruising. All right, well, let's get going with that floor number three. We're going to go back inside and take a look at this floor. There are so many different activities going on. You're really going to want to hang out here. If you're not up on the Lido deck, uh, and you'll be down here in the evening uh, shopping, going to all the different uh, activities and believe it or not they've got some cool bars piano bar all kinds of different action down here stores uh, where you buy all your goodies uh, but we're gonna show that to you right now so as you walk back in from uh, this part of the ship you're gonna walk right over here to the piano bar and boy oh boy did we have a lot of fun in there this is a big piano bar plenty of seating and uh, we really enjoyed it it's called the ivory bar and they've got the sing-along and uh, you know you get to pick your songs and it's the classic piano bar experience that you would get on Carnival Cruise Line but overall take a look at the size of this piano bar and uh, there was a lot of a lot of people hanging out there in the evenings having a great time we really enjoyed it uh, we had um, someone that uh, she was fantastic she was really really good and did a great job with this uh, whole piano bar experience but let's swing back outside of this and uh, take you down the hall to show you some more of the activities uh, that we've got cooking here and as you can see there's all kinds of awards on Carnival Pride this ship's been around it's won all kinds of I was looking through the windows at some of this stuff but it won all kinds of different awards all uh, from all different countries and different areas but take a look at the shops the other thing with these uh, older ships is when you think about the amount of retail space they have uh, versus the amount of people on the ship it's pretty impressive so here's cherry on top definitely want to keep your kids out of here you can spend a lot of money in a hurry but it's the classic candy shop all kinds of cool stuff in there and then when it comes to souvenirs jewelry watches you name it they've got it this is uh, 
one awesome, awesome place to go and buy your loved one uh, a nice watch, a nice necklace, and if you want souvenirs, take a look at this. They had all kinds of souvenirs. In fact, they had the Carnival 50th anniversary, so there were souvenirs galore. You name it, they had it. All kinds of cool gadgets, and uh, you name the stuffed animals and everything you could possibly think of on this cruise ship. But overall, we were really impressed with the shops, and uh, they had a nice display. So we're going to play you some music, walk through the rest of these shops, and show you the rest of this ship. If you love pictures, there's no question about it. Carnival Cruise Line does an amazing job with pictures. Uh, I think they win in this category also. They've always got the uh, display set up where you can get your pictures taken every single night, not just on formal night, but every night they've got uh, the photographers out there getting pictures and uh, it's a lot of fun. So as you can see here, we're in the main atrium area. They've got the pictures on this floor. You can look down to the floor below, which is the main entrance of the boat. Um, but uh, this area, they had a band playing at all times, a big bar, dancing, um, really nice area of the ship, especially in the evenings or if the weather's not good, this is definitely one of the popular places to uh, hang out for sure. walk farther down the hallway here from the atrium area you will see that if you're into art um, we've got uh, a nice gallery here you've got a piano they play some music there once in a while nice place to hang out but the art auction is held here quite a few times during the cruise uh, but this is nice art gallery some real nice pieces in here and uh, they're willing to sell you whatever you want to buy so all kinds of good stuff and now we're going to head all the way back uh, to the main dining room. And boy, oh boy, this was the surprise of the ship for us. This is an absolutely gorgeous dining room. We were surprised on how nice this uh, particular dining room was. Two floors, definitely the highlight of the Carnival Pride. This was beautiful really nice layout we had some great food on this cruise like we talked about before and uh, we had a lot of fun uh, during this cruise in the dining room and met a lot of friends as you can see this is probably the most beautiful part of the ship the dining room is fantastic it's a great design i think you would agree this is beautiful take a look from here in the dining room, we are going down to level two. All right, here we go. All right, lobster. Always good. Always good. Hey. All right. 
of the things that Carnival is known for is the entertainment during uh, the end of your dinner. Uh, they do this on both sittings and they make it a lot of fun. So they've got the dancing, the music, you finish up your dinner, uh, typically around dessert time when they come out. And uh, as you can see here, we have a ball, everybody has a ball, and uh, they make it a lot of fun, make it a unique experience. And we found the food, like I mentioned earlier, very good on this particular cruise. We were pleased with it, and uh, we had a lot of fun in the dining room. Sit back and check it, take a look at this. You'll get to see Liche in action doing a little dancing out there in the main dining room. enough dancing let's go check out the rest of the second floor on the cruise ship hey. as you can see as you come out of there you've got the alchemy bar which is really nice uh, lots of different drinks they do a great job with that and then when you walk a little farther down on the second floor you can see you come back into the atrium this is the main entry to the boat and uh, most likely when you dock you're going to be uh, entering uh, from the port. You're gonna be entering right here at level two. This is where we came in in Rome. But as you can see, you've got the live music up there. Lots going on. And uh, this is definitely the central part of the boat. And if you love your pictures, uh, this is the area of the ship also where you can check out all your photos after they uh, take them with you either at dinner or uh, during the shore excursions or you know as you uh, get your pictures taken with the backdrops really really great and uh, they have that everywhere here's another tip from Aliche wow look at that customer service line but yes luckily I have a tip for you if you have any Wi-Fi internet related question Guest service is not the spot, but the Pixel Heart Gallery is where you want to go, and they're going to assist you. Let's go! All right, let's check it out. Good tip, Alice. Okay, so as you depart that area, you'll see you've got all of the backdrops set up for the photography, but as you head away from that main atrium area, you're going to see right here that you've got the, that's right, Banzai Sushi. So if you love sushi, they've got the sushi for you. There is an extra charge on the sushi. Here's the menu right here so you can kind of see what they've got. Pretty cool overall and not too expensive. Actually, it's quite a good deal um, for uh, what you get. The quality of the sushi was excellent. Uh, we really enjoyed the food in here. And uh, if it's busy, you definitely need the book ahead. Uh, but most nights it's not too bad and you're able to get in there without issue. Um, for Alice, she was happy. That's right, the captain of the ship was from Italy. A bunch of Italians uh, running this operation and uh, Alice absolutely loves that as you can imagine. And as you can see here, we were cruising all over. That's right, the uh, Mediterranean and we really enjoyed this trip. If you haven't did a European trip with Carnival, definitely check it out. It was a lot of fun. We really, really enjoyed it and had a great time in Greece and Turkey and Italy and all the different locations that we went to. Okay, are you guys ready? If you love the gamble, they've got the casino. And once again, for a ship that's only 88,000 gross tons, uh, they've got a casino that uh, rivals the big ships. So plenty of uh, slot machines, tons of tables, um, take a look at the size of this casino. We were pretty blown away by it. And uh, so if you love to gamble, no worries here. No small casino. It's a big, big casino. Lots of different uh, games. Uh, they've got the roulette. They've got the blackjack. They've got, you know, you name it. They've got it. They've got all the tables. 
and all the activities, serving drinks all the time. It was a good time, like a little mini Vegas activity. But Carnival does a great job with the casinos, with these cruise ships, no question about it. Casino gets packed on this cruise ship, too. Uh, everyone was having a great time, as you can see. Lots of fun, for sure. So definitely don't miss the casino on your next Carnival Pride trip. So as you depart the casino area, you're going to come back down through here. And as you can see, you've got computers set up. So if you need to uh, do any computer work, that's accessible to you. No question about it. Uh, they've done a great job there. And how about the Skybox Sports Bar? That's right, folks. If you're in the sports, you want to see your football game, baseball game, whatever sport activities they've got cooking, um, you know, once again, the Carnival's upgraded all these ships with this. And you can see this has all been updated. Really, really nice uh, bar. And this thing got busy, obviously, with all the different uh, sporting activities going on. So Skybox is a must if you're in the sports. Definitely check that out when you're on the cruise ship. And how about the Red Frog Pub? That's right. They've got uh, all the bar action on this level two floor and as you can see here lots of great live music we really enjoyed it did some dancing down there had some fun uh, no question this is a cool place to hang out in the evening and then we're going to show you some other cool spots here in a minute You're going to want to do some dancing on this cruise ship after you eat all of the desserts up on that upstairs in the buffet area that they do every night. And like I had mentioned, there is just no ship that I've seen with so many awesome cakes. I don't know what was going on, like I mentioned before, but they had great desserts on this cruise. So definitely get your dancing shoes so you can burn off those calories and we'll keep going with the rest of the tour here. So as you leave that little bar area, how about this? If you want your latte, your cappuccino, uh, some cookies, you name it, this is the place to go to right outside the bars. And uh, they've got it all. Take a look at that. Cupcakes, donuts, you name it, they've got it. And uh, really, really nice. And then over in this area, they held a lot of trivia. Um, you know, they had a little bit of live music every now and then. They even have a little card room, which is pretty cool. So you can go in there and play board games or cards, um, and it's all blocked off really nice. And then, obviously, you come into the big theater here at the front of the ship and take a look at this theater. I love the design of these older theaters and how much space you have. Take a look at the nice little tables, uh, the chairs, uh, just so much bigger in my mind than what you get on some of these newer ships and uh, really, really relaxed uh, atmosphere. Um, and again, you can have your drinks there, multiple stories. You can enter this from multiple floors and uh, it was huge and obviously this is the gathering spot before you go on your shore excursions but they have obviously the nightly entertainment uh, a lot of music different activities we really enjoyed this uh, as you can imagine so here we are as you can see right now we're up at the front of that hey, ship hey look at there <laughs> oh that's awesome wave <laughs> And you can see there are some more friends there. But you've got the uh, where you book your shore excursions here at Adventures. Uh, and obviously you have all of your guest services also on floor number two. And then you have Beauty's Nightclub. That's right. It's a two-story nightclub. Uh, but you can only enter from the top floor. Lots of dancing. So if you love to get out there and dance and show your moves, this is the place you're going to go. It opens later, believe it or not, like 10 o'clock, but it runs late and ends up usually being the last place where everybody's partying and having a good time. Uh, but they've got some great drinks, a big bar, big dance floor, as you can see here, two stories, lots of fun for sure.
All right, we've got Janine, and she's a professional balloon. Look at this. She doesn't. Look at the hat she made for a liche way to go. I mean, that is amazing. So there you go. Another great tip for you here from the Carnival Pride. Try to find somebody who knows how to do balloon animals, balloon hats, and all of that stuff. We found that person right here. And this is her hobby business. And wow, great job. Really awesome. Wow. That's awesome. All right, Alice, we made it down to deck one down here at the bottom of the ship. And one big tip for everybody is that Beauty's Nightclub, no entrance down here. You got to come in from floor number two and walk the stairs down inside the lounge. That's a yep. big tip. Exactly. So you kind of go from the first floor only from the second floor. And he said that here on the first floor, where are all the different staterooms. And then at the end, right in the front or the forward of the, boat, or the ship, you can find the Butterfly Lounge. All right, let's go check out the Butterfly Lounge and in this tour. And uh, what a great ship, what a great design, super cool. And obviously the medical center is down below level one here, but we're heading to the Butterfly's Lounge. Let's go do it to finish up this video. Let's, let's go. go. So as you got down to the first floor here, as you can see, Punchliners and uh, this comedy club area is all the way back uh, down below here. And this place gets packed. So another big tip for everyone back home is if you're going to get there and you want a good seat, you're going to want to get there early. That's right. Uh, probably 15 minutes early for these uh, different comedy acts. They pack out uh, quickly and they're a lot of fun and everybody has a good time. So take a look. Here's what it looks like filled up. And as you can see, the show hasn't even started yet and there's standing room only. So you want to get there early. That's, uh, that's a big tip for anybody that's a rookie on Carnival Cruise Line going to these uh, comedy shows. They fill up fast. So in any case, lots of great uh, comedians. Uh, they mix it up every night and uh, just a lot of fun. You don't want to miss it. it uh, it's worth staying up and uh, having a good time. So overall, we really, really hope you enjoyed this video. It means so much to us. If you could subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, but overall, this was a great cruise. We really enjoyed it. Uh, we were able to uh, get upstairs and watch some movies late at night, have some fun. Um, we really enjoyed the cruise overall. The Mediterranean was awesome. If you've never done a European cruise, we'd highly recommend it. And thank you so much for watching. How to have fun outdoors.